Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Atlas. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be discussing about how to jump into Atlas, how to get started, what you need to do from the very beginning of the game where you go in, you select your server, you create your character, and then you hop onto the server, and then how you get from the very beginnings to out on a raft and then setting up your claim to be able to build and then make your mark on the world. All right, so hey, here we are. We're at the very beginning of the screen. Now, um, if you've already been onto a server, you can go onto a server. This right here puts me to my Patreon server, but um, otherwise, I'm going to jump onto a public server because a lot of people that are coming into the game, they're going to jump onto a public server. Now, you have a few different options here. Um, you can either um, go for PvP or PvE. You can even select uh, to search for uh, one of the different ones, and then you can support. You can uh, sort by different things. You can go by ping. You can go by name, players, day. Um, and then the players is how many players are on it, and the ping. When we're talking about official servers, there's going to be a lot of people on it. All right, so. Um, yeah, I would pretty much just sort by ping and then figure out which one is closest for you, which one is better for you. I'm going to jump on Siren's Call and then I'm going to get into the game and I'll see you guys in just one sec. Alright, the moment you click on the server, getting in, it will take you to this screen. Now, these screens are all the home free port screens. All the white ones that allows you to spawn in here, there's a free port here. Now, a free port, it's a small area in the very beginning of the game that has a maximum level um, for you to level up in. But it allows you a safe haven where people can't come in and they can't harass you. They can't do anything of the sort. Now, I'm not going to say that happens a lot. I'm not going to say that doesn't happen. I'm just going to say it can happen. All right. But other than that, I'm going to uh, select one of these and then we'll figure out kind of, you know, where we're going from here. Now, the one that I have highlighted right here, it's J9. Now, you can read a little bit of stuff over here, okay? Now, I have a 226 ping to this because this is over in the Europe. Um, this is over in Europe and not the Europe. This is over in Europe. And uh, um, right now, there's 29 players out of maximum 150 on there. It's day 485. It's created a while ago. And then this is the current build that is on it. Okay, I don't want that one. I want to get, uh, um, I think I might want to go somewhere over here in, like, the West Tropics. Uh, maybe Western Temperate. Those could be kind of cool as well. I don't want to start up in the cold areas down in the top or down the bottom because then I'll have to worry about the cold. I don't want to start, uh, too close to the desert because then I'll have to worry about the heat. So I want either the, um the ones farther over here to start or the ones farther over here to start maybe around the equatorial but then again you also kind of run into a little bit of the heat problems there as well so i think um i'm gonna start off how many people are 78 people in there 60 people in there 60 maybe j9 was actually the best one 50 people now, I want to go with one. Oh, that one looks pretty good. Southeast Tropical Fort. Yeah, 28 people. Hey, that's not too bad. All right, let's hop on in and then let's make our character. All right, right as soon as you hop into the game, this is the first screen that you'll be, uh, once you hop onto the server, this is the first screen you'll be uh, met with. Okay, so now here you can fine tune all sorts of different things about your character. It's really cool. And then me, all the way from hair color to uh, eye color to uh, here, you can zoom, click over this, you can zoom out of this. You can uh, um, make you can make their cranium size super massive, or you can go just regular. Right now, I'm really not too worried about this. I mean, spend some time on this, all right? And make this character, you know, yours. Get him really cool looking. However you like it, just uh, remember that whatever you go with here, you're sticking with for a while, all right? Um, you can go with your body type, everything like that. You can set up your torso heights, everything like that. I might actually have a preset already. I do not have a preset already. All right, but now, um, now that we uh, have made our character, all right, I'm gonna assume that you guys spent some time on this. I'm gonna go with just Flinger on this, and then his uh, family name is gonna be Foo. All right, and then here, now inside the inside the server that we uh, selected, now we also have one of four different regions. There's the Northern Island, Eastern Island, Southern Island, and Western Island. I'm just gonna go with Western Island because it defaulted me to there, and then from there. Um, I'm going to click accept, but one for, one thing before we go in, you can also have the option to draw tattoos on your character, and it's pretty cool. And this is a uh, um, if you uh, want to uh, oh use different paints, this is your paintbrush right here, and then all you do is just drag this over here. It'll fill up. Actually, there we go. It'll fill that up. I don't know why this one isn't working. Okay, so apparently this color is not working. 
It hates that color. That's a bad color. Bad color. All right. So, and then you can come in here. If you uh, um, pay very close attention to this little bit down here, if you uh, hover over it and then you um, draw down like this, just a regular draw, it'll just do a really thin line. Hold shift and it'll make a really thick line. So we can kind of go down like this and then we can do uh, just some weird stuff. Come over like this. Hey, that green works. All right, so we'll go like this. Make a big P. And then we'll go like that. And then we'll come over here and we'll grab this. And we'll make another P. And go like this. So we've got a big PP on our chest. Go for flinger foo. And then we'll go like that. There we go. Bam. And just close that up. And then, hey, there we go. Now we've got a nice, cool flinger foo thing over here with a nice little line that's hidden under here. <laughs> because I don't really want to worry about messing with that. But then again, you can also um, erase certain tattoo things. You can also import um, tattoo... Uh, oh, uh tattoo designs into the game. I'm not going to cover that today. We're just going to be talking about the beginner's guide and how to get into it. All right, so now that we've got that done, let's create our Pathfinder, and then let's hop into the game. All right, as soon as you load into the game, you have to worry about the super loud music, which will eventually die down, hopefully, maybe, possibly, probably not. All right. All right, so now that the music is dud down, now we are greeted with this. All right, now you start off in the um, beginning zone. Um, this right here is what they call a free port. Now you'll notice that there's a bunch of ships sailing around out the outside in the uh, oh out in the harbor. There's a bunch of rafts, everything like that. That right there is from players that are currently on the server. Now, if you uh, um, open up your inventory, you'll notice that you have some stats in here. Okay, now this right here, this. Um, this right here is for what you have in your inventory, your armor, stuff like that. Okay, now, um, say if you have a hat, you put it into your head slot. If you have a gloves, you put it into your hands. Um, shirts go in torso, legs for pants, and then feet for boots. All right, now when you level up, and you will notice that you are just slowly getting XP as you just sit here. It gets, it, as you get higher level, um, it'll seem like it takes forever, but you're still, it still just happens. All right, now when you do level up, there's only a few skills that you can level up. Now, this one right here, you can level up health, which goes up by three points per point you uh, um, oh, go up. And this is how much hit points you have, how much damage you can take before you die. And then you have stamina. This right here is how long you can run um, before you uh, um, oh, are, are exhausted and you can't run anymore, how much you can harvest stuff, how much you can swing a pickaxe at uh, resources to harvest it, stuff like that. Okay, and then there's also Fortitude. This right here is your uh, defense against the elements. It reduces the harsh effects of the hot and the cold. And, yeah, it armor um, kind of throws this off a little bit, but that's mitigated by Fortitude. If you have a high Fortitude, it, you can go into the colder or the um, warmer regions without taking any damage, without having uh, it drain your food and your water faster, stuff like that. All right, now this right here is weight. This is how much you can carry. It's as simple as that. Every item in um, Atlas has a weight stat on it and based given how much weight it takes for you to actually carry it all right just know that this right here th this stat right here is the first one that i raise up i usually take this up to about 500 just so i can carry all the stuff that i need because stuff in atlas it's heavy all right now intelligence this one right here um gives you a bunch of really cool stuff it uh, gives you a cooldown on your feats when you uh, um, get higher level and you start learning the different feats um, with uh, like me melee swings and then uh, gunshots, stuff like that, uh, when using bows. Um, yeah, you get all sorts of um, cool different abilities. It, this right here reduces the cooldown on them. All right, and then um, when you get, uh, uh, when you craft items, it makes um, you craft them quicker. It's a pretty cool stat. But to begin with, I would concentrate on weight. All right, now coming out over here into the island. Now you want to find your way down over here and then you want to just walk up to um, some of these bushes and then click uh, your use button. All right, and then you'll just start uh, oh, harvesting them now. Now you really don't have to keep press um, or keep smacking on the key. Just hold it down and you can just run over everything. It, it's so much easier to gather everything. Make sure you get a couple stones while you're doing this and stuff like that. And then also, once you're done doing that, you can come over here, left click, and you start punching trees. Now, if you cycle between the left click and the right click, you'll actually uh, do more damage, and then you'll get this little blue animation, which means that you're 
doing more damage. It's kind of a combo ability. It's pretty cool. All right. But by punching trees, you end up getting uh, some wood. And then from there, we can go up here. We're going to wait till we get um, a little bit more uh, resources. And then we're going to uh, um, craft our stuff. So I'll bring you guys back once I'm level one. Okay. And then also remember that your interactions in the game are what give you uh, the XP. By crafting stuff, you really do... You really don't gain XP, but by interacting with the world around you, you gain XP. By harvesting trees, by picking bushes, by punching chickens, you get XP. It's not the fastest bit of XP, but it is XP. And even by harvesting stuff, you get XP. Remember, you do not get XP by crafting anything, but you do get XP by just interacting with the world. Alright, so I'm going to put this first level in weight, and then this is going to unlock... Immediately, as soon as we put that point into weight, it's going to move us over to here, and then it's going to give us a couple points so where we can devote to our skills. Now, it gives us two points to begin with. I'm going to put one point in the basics, and I'm going to put one point in tools of trade. Now, what this will, what this will do, this will unlock the ability to create the hatchet, the pick, the torch, and the campfire, plus also all of our clothes and the simple bed. These are very, very important for you to unlock. And then after that, the second one will give you the ability to um, create the regular wooden spear. All right, so now we've got that. Let's um, close that up, and then we open it back up. And then from here, this allows us to go down here. Now, if you're not seeing the window like this, just click on these buttons up here. Because if you click on this button right here, it will open up this down here. This is the toggle crafting panel. This right here is the toggle inventory panel. If you're up here, if you only see this... Click on that, and it'll make that go away. There we are. All right, so now let's craft one of these just by clicking our Use button on it. And then from here, we're going to make all of our... As much armor as we can. Now, for here, we need more hide. And then from there, we need more hide. Now, for here, you can either drag this over and then drop that in like that. Or you can just double-click the item, and then it'll immediately appear over here. All right, now from here, I'm going to take this. I'm going to drag this stone pick down on my bar. And then whenever you equip an item, piece of armor, anything of the sort, it takes um, between 5 and 10 seconds for you to equip it. Just know that if you're uh, swapping between like arrow and spear or um, bow and spear, something of the sort, it's going to take a little bit of time before it'll actually show up on your character and before you can actually use it. And then it'll have a little timer over it. Here, let me show you. Like this, take that, put that down there. See, that one right there has a five-second timer. The different items or how um, many hands it takes to wield it determines how long it takes before it shows up. Because you actually have to put the armor on. You know, you have to um, equip the item. Yeah. All right, so for here, we need some flint. So um, with the flint, now what we're going to do, we're going to take our pick that we just equipped. I'm going to press the button that it's on, and then we're going to go over and try to see if we can find a stone to beat up with the pick. All right, now remember that when you're harvesting stuff with a pick or with a hatchet, that whatever tool you use it determines what kind of resource you're going to get. If you... Here, let's craft a, a hatchet really quick because we need both the hatchet and the pick. Drag this over down here. Put that right there. All right, so if you, we come up to a rock, like, say, this rock right here, and then we beat this up with our pick, we're going to get primarily flint. All right, now you're going to notice that a lot of the metal and stuff, the flint and stuff, some of it's going to be called flint, some of it's going to be called different things, but it will always have a hyphen and then flint, which means that that is the resource. There are different types of resources that you can get, but you really only are worried about the final word after the uh, hyphen on the uh, word, and this one right here is flint. Okay, this right here is metal, this right here is stone, this right here is fibers. Now, say if we go up to this rock and we harvest this rock with our pick, we're going to primarily get flint. But if we go up to this rock and then we harvest it with a hatchet, we're going to primarily get stone. We're still going to get flint, just not as much flint as we would get by using the, the pick. All right, so let's get this because I want a lot of flint. See, more flint than stone, and then using the other one, you get more uh, stone than flint. Now, you will also um, accrue metal from getting this. At the earlier stages, metal will just weigh you down. Later on, when you get a little bit higher level, um, I would worry about keeping metal, but metal is pretty abundant in this game, so I wouldn't worry too much about holding on to all the metal. This is an arc. Um, I wouldn't try to um, get all the metal that I possibly could. All right, so now that we've got that, now let's start worrying about our spears. All right, now we need to get some wood. 
All right, so if we go over to this um, tree right here and we hack this apart with our uh, pick, like we did getting the flint, we'll get primarily thatch from this instead of wood. If you want to get lots of wood quickly, you have to come over here and you have to hack it apart with your hatchet. All right, now I'm gonna grab the, I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of wood because I want to craft up a bunch of spears because the spears they actually will break on you. So I want to make sure I have plenty of these crafted. I'm going to craft all three of those. And then as soon as they're done, I'm going to put them down on my hotbar so I can get them equipped. All right. Now, since this is a two-handed weapon, it takes 10 seconds to equip that. And then while that's while we're busy crafting the other spears in our inventory, we're going to end up running really slow. But now that we've got that spear crafted, now we actually become kind of a force to be reckoned with. We can actually stand up for ourselves. We can uh, fight back against, say, like this or right here that's really not doing anything but you know if this guy were to charge us we could actually fight back all right but um now we're not going to be covering on um, this but i would encourage you to uh spend some time at the freeport get some levels harvest up your stuff cook some meat everything of the sort but for now i'm going to show you where to get the raft one thing i forgot to mention all right see these water signs right here water in atlas it's hard to get it, it kind of is, but you, it, it's not really that hard if you know where to look, but if you don't know where to look, it's going to be nightmare. All right, now, if you follow these uh, signs right here, every Freeport has arrow signs that say water on them, and they will take you over to where the water's at. It could be a sp natural spring. It could be a water well. It could be a, uh, a little fountain that has water. Just find the area, um, find the arrows, and then follow them until they you find the water source. All right. But also, if you don't want to look for the water source, see this right here, this is just a clear little spring down here. You go down here, unequip the spear, hit our use button over the water where we're not getting a rock, and then it'll just automatically drink. All right, but um, if you don't want to do that, if you're out in, uh, oh, say you're uh, not next to uh, Freeport, you're out um, exploring, you need water, you're um, parched, you're gonna die if you don't drink water soon. One of the best ways of actually getting water, get up to a nice grassy area in from the beach, duck down like this all the way down to the ground, and then click your button and a little mini game will come up. All you have to do is signal. Yeah, all you have to do is click the button in between the uh, white bits where it turns green and then it'll give you some water. And then a little spout will come up. It'll have, uh, if you hit all three, it'll give you 60. It gives you 20 per uh, time that you hit it. If it, uh, um, you hit all three times, it'll give you 60. And now this will last here just for a little bit until that um, water spout is either fully consumed or it'll slowly go down by itself. All right. Now, we're going to head over to the dock. All right. Back at the free port on the docks. Remember, this is where we first started. All right. So now, find the uh, little dock coming out like this. And you'll see a guy out here right next to this little sign right there. Okay, now this guy right here, he's the shipyardsman. He will actually sell you um, a ship. All you have to do is present him with 75 fiber, 20 hide, and 80 wood. Now we're going to head back inland, and then we're going to go... Now, this, this is kind of your first quest that you're given. The second quest is going to be how to get food, and how to actually cook it, and then also how to... Um, Oh, uh, balance your vitals. That's going to be one of the very important things that you need to learn. So now we're going to run back over here, this area. Um, Let's see. Actually, let's kill the seagull because I think we're going to need some stuff. Now, you want to be careful when attacking seagulls. Know that they're go they're going to fight back, right? And it's going to hurt. Come on. Come here, dude. Are you done? Yeah, peace out, yo. All right, so let's get this meat from this guy. Oh, and also harvesting things with your uh, pick will provide more meat. Um, harvesting things with your hatchet will provide more skin. Just so you know this. All right, now that we've got a little bit of meat, we don't need any more meat for right now. So I'm just gonna harvest this guy up with my hatchet so where I can get as much skin and hide as we possibly can. Well, wrong butt, wrong button. All right, so now that we've got as much of uh, that stuff as we possibly can, now we have to go look for some other stuff out here. We have to go find certain types of vegetables out here. All right, now, when you're out harvesting a bunch of stuff, 
you can look on the ground for different things. All right, now this one right here, this is a K. These little bushes, you will find all sorts of different uh, fruits and vegetables throughout the island. Just remember, if it's a vegetable, it'll give you vitamin A. If it's a fruit, it'll give you vitamin um, C. And then th this right here, this is such a great spot. This actually gives us all the vitamins we need because it has the acerola, has the wild rice, and then it also has the AK. So this is everything that a growing Atlas survivor needs. All right, now we'll show you a little bit about this because now that we actually have that, we have that stuff in our inventory, now it's time for us to go out and then get the vitamin D, which is the fish food or the fish meat out here in the open ocean. Which is another reason why we made the spears. <laughs> so now, how you get fish is you go out here into the water, do a brief little dip, you make sure if you can see things. There we go. There's a fish right there. Uh, don't go out too far because sometimes there can be sharks out here. Um, there could also be manta rays that will uh, come out and want to gank you. So just be aware that, uh, yeah, you could end up coming out. Now, as soon as you kill a fish, if you don't press another button, it will immediately appear on your uh, in your character's hands. You'll unequip your spear and then the um, fish will be in your hands. This is a great and effective way of actually instantly dragging it out. Just remember, just don't kind of like spam click the attack in there, and then you'll just have it in your hands. All right, I'm gonna hack this guy apart with my uh, hatchet because I'm more interested in skin than I am fish meat, even though I do want a bunch of fish meat. So now that we've got that, now we need to craft up a uh, campfire right there. Bam, let's get that sucker going. Craft this up in our inventory. All right, and then also, I will explain something while this is uh, busy cooking. Let's see, let's take the um, wood, put that in there, and then we take the fish meat, put that in there, and then we take the regular meat, put that in there, take all that, because you don't want to eat this stuff raw. Trust me, don't eat this stuff raw. Light that fire. All right, now you will notice on these, fi on these food items, anything that has a food item has a little up arrow next to it, okay? Now, the up arrow is, um, is determines what kind of vitamin source that particular item gives you okay so for this right here this green one right here this is vitamin a this um vitamin right here all right um the uh regular meat this stuff right here the cooked pork chop and the raw pork chop or the raw bit of i don't know it looks like tartar <laughs> that right there gives you the vitamin uh b all right, now the vitamin C is the citrus plants, in, like the acai, the acerola, the orange one. That is this one right here. Now the vitamin D, that is the fish food. All right, now here, um, if we can balance these, if we can keep ourselves balanced, if we can eat a nice, nutritious breakfast, it's going to uh, actually give us a little buff. Okay, so now, if we take this, all right, hold on back out of K mode. Now, if we open this up with this right here, now if you see this right here, the goal is to try to keep these balanced. Now, if you have them that are kind, if you have one of these that's slightly off, eat a little bit so where it gets caught up. Once everything's caught up by eating one fish, one regular meat, five citrus, and then five vitamin A, that is usually enough to get you just perfectly balanced. Now, if you just go with that, one, one, five, and five, you can stay balanced the entire time. Whenever you get hungry, whenever you're trying to uh, get everything balanced, that is the way to maintain the balance. If you can maintain the balance for a certain amount of time, you'll end up actually getting the wrong button. You'll get a little buff that pops up down over here, which gives you a bonus to your stamina, to your movement speed. It's very cool. All right. Now, let me see if I can get all this stuff. Grab this. Grab this. I'm gonna let the rest of the stuff cook and then we're gonna go get all the rest of the stuff that we need for our, where's my skin? There it is, 32, that's enough for that. All right, um, we're gonna go get all the rest of the stuff we need for our, uh, for our raft and then we're gonna head out into the world. All right, I'm gonna make sure that I craft a, uh, oh, a shirt and some pants. And then I'm probably going to have to go uh, harvest up a little bit more food. I mean, a little bit more skin, but that's really not that big of a deal. Give that about 10 seconds to uh, appear on me. And then we'll... There's my pants. And then here... I'll get a shirt here in one sec. And then we are ready to fight evil today. Nice. All right. We're already moving up in the world. Already doing pretty dang good. All right. Now, if you need a quick and easy source of getting high, you can go... Uh, 
over. And you can see these monkeys. I would prefer not to kill the monkeys because I like monkeys. I have like a certain affinity with monkeys. But these chickens, treat them like the dodo bird. You are the reason why they went extinct. The sooner you come to terms with that, the better. All right, let's uh, use the hatchet on this guy. All right, hack this guy up, get a whole ton of skin, get our level, put that in weight. Nice. And I'm just going to save these points until I actually find something that I need to uh, invest it in. Other than that, um, yeah, I'm just going to save these things up. All right. So now that we've got all this stuff um, oh, in our inventory, we should have everything for a raft. Now we're going to head back over to uh, the guy, get our raft. And then from there, we're going to head out into the world because I think we're ready to go. All right. Get over here. Access shop. Get that thing going. I'm not even going to worry about a name on that. But our ship, you'll notice that it appears way down there. It's the only green one in the entire harbor. Now, if you swim over here, you can actually... Uh, here, let's unequip that. Makes it a little bit easier. Pop up to the side of it. Look up like this, and it'll just pop you right onto the boat. All right, so for here, whenever you're heading out into um, oh, the waters, um, you want to stay very, very close right here to the sail. Okay, now this right here, if you uh, hold your mouse over the, uh, well, if you look at the sail and you hold your mouse over it, and then you hold your use button, it'll open up this window right here. Now, um, this one right here will allow you to rotate the sails. This is a full 360 degree um, rotation on this uh, raft sail. Um, you can go like that, and also you can open the sails either 100%. You can open them by 10% at a time, you can close them by 10% at a time, or you can close them 100%. I'm gonna open this up 100% of the time, or um, open it up 100%, it opens up the sail like this. How we move around is we rotate the sail so where we can catch the wind. Notice that up in the top right hand corner there is a wind marker. It will uh, designate that right now we are actually headed away from the wind, which means we're gonna be moving at 30% movement speed max. Um, and so it means that our mass sail up there is red and but if we steer back over into it It'll start slowly going from orange to green, which means that we're gonna be going a lot faster now All right, so now we can circle around just a little bit more as we're going and Then we head out here away from the uh, free port over in the distance say goodbye to uh land and then yeah all right so hey and then we're gonna go out we're gonna find our little way out into the world find our little claim when we get out there we're gonna um get up into the area and then when we get there we're gonna hold g and then we're gonna place claim flag if it allows us to drop a claim flag within the area then it's gonna put it down it takes a certain amount of time 10 minutes i believe and then once that's done that will be our claim we'll be able to build um everything on there we'll be able to create um our base our little pirate den our farm whatever it is you want all right so hey I hope it I hope this video helped you out. I hope uh, you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And uh, yeah, if uh, you're interested in more Atlas videos, Ark Survival Evolved videos, look me up on my channel, all right? I got plenty of different um, games that I play, and I just hope this uh, video really helped you out. Until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody. Now we're off into the great blue yonder. <laughs> look out, world.